Um, I was actually born in Nairobi, Kenya, to a Ugandan family that had uh, migrated, like many Ugandans in the 70s, to Kenya. Um, I spent most of my childhood here in Nairobi um, before going off to the States uh, for college. I like to think of them as sort of distinct camps. They're not in competition with each other in terms of family and work. Um, I have to give equal amounts of attention um, to both of them, but they're very different for me. Aside from this financial services focused career, uh, I'm also an artist at heart, right? Um, so I sing in a choir, I, I play piano, um, I'm on pretty much almost at many concerts and sort of art is a very large part of my life. Free time, that's an interesting thing. I don't really have too much of that, but when I do have free time, um, you know, I, I, I maintain a very small, tight-knit circle of friends. Um, so I try and catch up with them over the weekends. Um, I'm most probably spending time with my family. You know, we're either going on walks together, working out. Uh, we're trying to explore new things around town. It's just amazing. I think there's all these variations of blue, right? From your um, lighter Mediterranean blues to your sort of darker, deep blues like this, like this couch over here. Um, I know it sounds almost very unoriginal and very sort of gender stereotype, but I've always loved blue and all the varieties of blue. Yeah. My favorite, favorite car was a car I, I once owned. Um, it was a BMW 3 Series, um, an absolute beauty. It, it handled the road with so much speed, elegance, control. It was amazing. Um, Although it doesn't really work well with Nairobi roads, um, so maybe not a car for Nairobi, but a fantastic cottage ride. Every single time we pass the escarpment on the way from Nairobi to Naivasha, I always think to myself, this is like a million dollar view. It's worth stopping the car every single time. And I know that, you know, for most people here in Kenya, we, we're just used to it. We see it all the time. It means nothing, but it takes my breath away all the time. Some of my favorite dress codes would be a pair of comfortable jeans. It would most probably be some kind of checked shirt like this. And if it's cold enough, pair to the sweater. It's so basic. It could work for the weekend. It could work for the work day. I love it. It's everyday wear, comfortable, um, and it allows me to not have to think about what I'm going to wear in the morning. I just put it on and get to work. <laughs> Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, highly unlikely. I'll tell you what, um, this, this goatee here, this is me sort of trying something new. You know, I've sort of been clean shaven most of my entire life. This is about as far as experimental as I'll ever get, really. I love food, by the way. I, I like thinking I'm a foodie. This is tricky. So many. I love great seafood. I really do. Um, you know, everything from fantastic, let's see, salmon, you know, a, a fantastic grilled salmon, love that. Um, going down to coast, uh, there is the, I think it's the Tamarind Dao, the Tamarind restaurant down in, in North Coast. Amazing, amazing food. Um, seven restaurant uh, over here in Nairobi. So, pretty much, if you have a seafood theme, I'm down for that. Um, I'm reading a few, but I, I want to sort of call out a book I read recently. Uh, this was a memoir called Educated by Tara Westfield. Um, an amazing, amazing book uh, about a, a girl who grew up in a Mormon family in rural America, never went to school, it was self-educated and went all the way to getting a PhD, um, I think it was from Oxford or Cambridge. And it's a, it's a crazy story about growing up in a house with uh, you know, where the father had mental health issues and believed in conspiracy theories, and how she extracted herself from that environment and um, educated herself. Amazing read. Pretty much from the age of 16, um, I thought I wanted to be a banker, an investment banker to be precise. And so I had an almost tunnel visioned focus on getting there, right? Um, and I got there. But I think when I look back, I realize that perhaps I should have been more open to what the world had, right? 
um, I actually believe that for most people, you might be able to apply yourself in multiple areas. It, you know, you can do very well in one area, but it doesn't mean that this was the only place you're supposed to have sort of dedicated your life to. So I think one mistake was trying to be too certain too quick and not being comfortable with uncertainty, especially around careers. And so I generally encourage people to sort of go out there and not know, to let life sort of show them where they should be, what they should be doing um, as individuals.